Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at the best workspace for beginners. All right, since recording this video, Adobe updated Premiere Pro to include new panels. And one of those panels is the very important properties panel. You can find it in the window menu or by resetting the built-in workspaces in Premiere Pro. Everything else in this tutorial applies, so go ahead and watch it. I'll have a future tutorial about all the new updates from Adobe. Now back to this tutorial. Now one of the most powerful parts of Adobe Premiere Pro is the ability to customize the workspace. One of the biggest problems people have is when they accidentally close things they didn't mean to close. And if you're fairly new to Premiere Pro, this can be a real head scratcher. The internet is full of people who can't find their timeline. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the simplest best one, and I'll also show you um, how to add some things to it, how to find every single panel, and then they'll, I'll link uh, in the description to two other tutorials I have for beginners. One is about what every editor should do, which is create folders and organize stuff. And the other is understanding really what importing is. And if you're new to Premiere Pro or really any linked program environment where you link to things outside of the program, I really wish you'd watch those. Okay, so I'm gonna start with nothing. Here is Premiere Pro launched, and I'm going to start a new project over on the left. And you should always find a project location. Whatever you do, don't put it on the desktop. You will lose things and you will have issues. You shouldn't be working on the desktop. At least make one folder. Okay, so I'm going to choose my location, I'll select that folder, and it's on my D drive and a whole bunch of other folders in this fo folder for this tutorial, and I'm gonna name it. And this will be the name of the project that will be in that folder. You can use templates. Um, I've got other tutorials talking about templates. I'm not gonna use them right now. I'll pick some videos. And you see them get added at the bottom. All right. If you want, you could organize media here and add to a new bin. Right now, these are going to come in loose. I'm gonna leave that because I'll create a bin later. Um, I'm gonna leave the rest of this all turned off and click Create. Give it a moment. And here we are in my workspace. So here's the media. And like I said before, this media is linked so if I right click on here and choose to reveal an explorer or the finder in the Mac, that's where that clip is on that drive, on my footage drive. If this gets moved, then that link is gone. Again, this is another new user um, slip up that happens all the time. Why did Premiere Pro lose my stuff? It didn't, it's looking for where stuff is. So. I'm going to tidy this up. I'll select all of it and then just drag it down here to this little folder icon and I'll call it video. Now it's nice and tidy. All right. So up at the top, this bar here has several things in it. This is the name of the workspace, which isn't turned on by default. Show workspace label. I'll turn that off. This is the workspace button with nothing showing. I like to show it because I like to see which one I, I have loaded. And I also love to reset a workspace. So let me show you that. We'll go to the starter workspace, which is right at the top. Go back to the workspaces 
and turn on show workspace label. So now we can see that. If something gets closed, like let's say that the project panel over here, you accidentally close that project panel. And this is the media browser, it's not the project panel, you might be wondering where your stuff is. All you have to do now is double click on the name. You could go into the workspace and reset to the saved layout. It's just a lot easier to double click. And it resets and everything's back to normal. Double click. Now the first time you do that, you will get a dialog box that um, asks if you do want to reset the workspace. And that's a good idea, again, for new users, because maybe you tweaked things and you forgot to save it and you don't want to reset it. So let's look at the panels that are here. The, the uh, project panel, the media browser, and they're tabbed behind each other here. The media browser is just another way to import files. The program monitor, which will show us the timeline, and the effects, so that's very simple. There's only two overlapped panels, the rest are single panels. And your tools over here on the left, meters on the right. This is Adobe's simplest workspace for beginners who probably don't want to do a lot of tweaking of their edit. They want to bring in video, drop it in, add some effects and get it out. But what if we wanted to do a few more things like, oh, I don't know, add titles. Well, we can go to the window menu and every single panel is in there. Notice that, recognize that. This is another thing that a lot of users don't understand. And this is the same in every Adobe application and most creative applications. They have sets of panels that you can work with and there's usually one place where they all are and that's in the window menu in Adobe applications in, in Premiere Pro. So if I wanted to open up Essential Graphics where the titles are, I'll click on that and it does open up over here. If it does open somewhere else, you can move these panels. I'm gonna show you dragging the title of the panel, just to give you an idea, you can move this panel around and you get indicators here of where you're going to drop it. I'm still holding the mouse. If I let go in the middle, then it gets stacked behind these other panels. If I drag it to the right, then it's going to be stacked over to the right. Same with over on the left, same with over on the bottom. <laughs> and uh, It's making quite a mess of all of this. You can move between panels and resize these things if you want, but let's grab the graphics and drop it back over here. So maybe you, you want less room up here and more room for your preview. Maybe you don't have a lot of tracks. You can drag this down and get a larger preview. This is again where your titles are and where the effects are. If you wanted to keep this, go back to the workspace, and save this as a new workspace. You get to name it, and I'll show you how to edit its position in the menus too, so you could put it up higher in there. But I think at the very least, um, in addition to these panels, it's probably a good idea to put the effects control panel. And again, people get this mixed up all the time. Well, the effects, isn't that the effects control panel? No, the effects are the effects that you apply. The effects control panel changes the effects that you apply. Where is that? Well, let's go back to the window menu and look for the effects controls right there. And again, it shows up automatically over on the right, which is a pretty good place to put everything. All right, so I'll drag this folder of videos into my timeline, just so I have something here. Now when I click on it, the effects controls show up. So I can change things in the motion, like scale, I could position things, I could do all of those things that you would normally do. And I go back and reset all that. There's the effects if I want to apply the effects, and there's the graphics if I want to um, add a title to this. So I click and um, my title. And now the essential graphics have all of my controls. The effects panel is for any effects and the effects controls and project panel, media browser, 
timeline, tools, meters. All right, now let's go save this down to the bottom, save as a new workspace, and I'll call this Collins Starter. So it's based on the starter, but it's mine. Click OK. There's the name. If we click back on here, we can organize this. So edit workspaces all the way down to the bottom. And you can make this larger to work with it. So instead of mine being uh, in a place where I don't even know where, where did it go? Oh, it's down here. Click and drag it all the way up to the top. Click OK. Oh, and by the way, you can drag some of these underneath here. So if you're not doing anything with productions, you can drag it and now it won't show. So I'll click OK. And now I'm going to go back to Starter here. And I'm going to double click on Starter to reset it. And I'm going to go to my Starter. Boom, between those two, just like that. These workspace settings are saved in the program. So it's not just in this project. You go to open an old project, you still have the option of choosing Starter or in my case, Colin Starter, um, or for any new projects that you create. It just makes a lot of sense to work with this. Now, if we go back to the workspaces and go to Essentials, I'm gonna reset this to make sure it's the default. So Essentials is also another Adobe created workspace. It's just one level above the starter workspace. It opens up more useful uh, uh, panels like the effects controls. So we have those options. Again, you can drag this, this around to make these larger. And these little double arrows show up if it's hiding one of the panels. You see, when you get too tight, then these show up. I don't think a lot of new users are going to be using Frame.io. So if I click on the little hamburger menu, I can close that. Close my libraries if I don't need it. Graphics, effects, and my project panel. We now have a source clip. So if you do open up a clip in the source monitor, the effects controls, Lumetri for color, so we can change the color. We can cool this down, warm this up. Oh, I actually have the title selected. So I'm, I'm affecting the title. No, that's not good. So I can warm this up, cool this down. Essential sound now, where you can add sounds to things. You can fix, edit sounds. You can automatically tag dialogue, music, and sound effects and text now for working with text. So this is the essentials. I did tweak a few things and move this over. So maybe I want to go in and, and save this as a new version of essentials. The bottom line is you have control of every single panel. Now you know where they are. If they accidentally get closed by you or magically by someone else, you can still find them. You can organize them. It's all up to you. I'm trying to empower you so you're never left scratching your head wondering where things went. You now know where your media is, you now know where your panels are, and your workspaces. Again, two links in the description. If you are a new user, I highly suggest you have a look. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more and download a bunch of cool free stuff? Then go to videoreveal.com slash shop. You can donate once, monthly, any amount. We love all of our wonderful donors that support us. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to break things down to the absolute minimum so that you have the power to work the way that you want.